Hmm, it's getting a bit late. Hey, Bob, do you mind turning on the lights? Thanks, bud. Alright, he's gone. We need to talk about how to exterminate him. Hey, everybody, anyone is here, and I came across a really cool idea from a Redditor named Logstone. He posted a little earlier tonight about making a day and night sensor using villagers, because at night, villagers like to go inside. So the idea behind it is pretty simple. I made this little house. Now, this whole thing is pretty much a facade, uh, just to make it look nice. All you really need is one uh, square with a pressure plate. And when you step on the pressure plate, it turns on the lights outside. Now, the idea is, at night, villagers go inside. Uh, but he came across a couple of hurdles, and so did I. The first thing was, randomly, the villager will make his way back inside. So what I did is, I took another villager, put him behind a fence, and allowed them to socialize. This cut back a lot on how much he actually went back into the house. And, really, it would be wrong to make him live in this little cube by himself, so he has a little friend. Another issue I was finding was, randomly at night he might come outside. So what I did is, I put it on a timer, and what you can see here, if I could find it, there we go, is a little uh, timer circuit. And basically what it does is, when the um, redstone goes through, both make their way to this block and turn off this redstone. And this redstone is wired up to all these different lights, and they turn off when these tu when they turn on when this turns off. But when the villager steps outside, he steps outside for a quick second and comes right back in. So what this does is, with this little timer here, this will delay the signal from being turned off on this block. And if the guy gets right back on the pressure plate, the signal will come right back around here, power this up well before this timer runs out. So as long as the villager doesn't leave the house for more than, what is this right here, uh, three tick, four ticks each on four of them, as long as they don't leave for that much time, the lights never go off, and realistically, they never really do. And as you can see, all this really is, is just some redstone underneath the pressure plate and that's pretty much the gist of it uh, once day comes he comes back out the really the only bug in this is um, sometimes he does walk back into the house it's not that often but it does happen and when it rains he goes back inside the house so I'd love to see how people incorporate this um, on the log stones video which I'll link to in the description he just had a little hole in the ground that he dropped the villager in. Now, I didn't think that was too nice. So I built him a little house, a little garden, a friend to talk to. So even though he is a slave and he works for me, he seems like he has a good time until he does that. Well, that's pretty much the gist of it. I'd love to see what other people do. I'd love to see how this is incorporated because I know we all have, we already have a uh, day-night sensor using a bud switch, but that waits for grass to grow, and it can take up to five minutes to happen. So this is pretty much quicker. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time.